Hi, my name is Pat, and in this video, we will be walking through the process of activating your account for the MAS Medical Staffing mobile app, as well as installing it. Note that this video is specific to Apple iPhones. If you have an Android phone, such as a Galaxy or Google Pixel, please refer to the accompanying video that explains how to create an account and install the app on those smartphones. If you have any kind of iPhone, keep watching this video. Now, before installing and using the app, you will first need to activate your account. You should have received an email with the subject line, activate your MAS medical staffing account from the email support at twosymphony.com. Please take the time to check your inbox for this email. If you have multiple email addresses, this email will have been sent to the address that MAS Medical Staffing has on record. Please take note of this email address as it will be the one linked to your account. If you are having trouble finding this email, please contact MAS and we will send you another one. Once you find this email, you can be certain that you have an account that is waiting to be activated. You can activate it in a couple different ways. If your email address is a Gmail address, or if you can sign into it through Google, you can activate your account automatically by signing in with Google once you've installed the app. We'll go into this later, after we've gone over how to install the app. Similarly, if your email address is linked to your Facebook profile, you can also activate your account by signing in with Facebook. Again, we'll go over this shortly. If you do plan to activate your account through Facebook, however, Make sure that the email address you have on record is listed as your primary email on Facebook. You can verify this by going to your Facebook, navigating to your settings, and checking the contact field in your general settings. If you do not have a Google account or a Facebook account with the correct email, or if you'd just rather sign in with a password, you can activate your account by simply creating a password. Read the email that was sent to you, then tap the blue link that reads, Create a Password. This will bring you to a page where you can enter a password that you will use to sign into the app. Try to choose a strong password, at least eight characters long, that you will remember. A good rule of thumb is to use a couple words or phrase that you like. For example, I'm going to make my password live, laugh, love, but you should try to think of a different one. Once you've decided on a password, enter it into both fields and press the orange arrow to finish activating your account you should see a green check mark with a message saying, your password has been reset successfully. This also means that your account has been activated and you can sign into the app. At this point, you can exit or close the web page. Now that you've activated your account, you'll need to download and install the MAS Medical app onto your phone. Note that currently, the app is not available on the Apple App Store, so you will not be able to download it through the App Store as you're probably used to. Instead, go back to the email that was sent to you. At this point, you should be viewing the email on your iPhone, as we will be installing the app directly onto the phone. So, find the email with your preferred email app on your phone. Near the bottom of this email, you'll see a bolded list of two blue links. Tap the first link to view instructions for installing the app on an iPhone. From this web page, tap the long blue link near the top you may be brought to a page titled Redirect Notice. This just makes sure you really want to visit that link, which we do. So press the link again to go to the installer web page. Now press the big purple button in the middle of the page that reads Install MAS Mobile. You should get a pop-up that states maestra.masmedicalstaffing.com would like to install MAS Mobile. Press Install to start installing the app. Now go back to your home screen and find the app icon with the big MAS logo on it. If you try and open it, you'll get a pop-up titled Untrusted Enterprise Developer. This is just an iPhone feature which protects you from downloading apps that may harm your phone. In this case, however, the app will not harm your phone, and so we'll need to set our phone to trust this app. Unfortunately, the iPhone makes it difficult to do this, and as you can see, there is no button to press to trust the app. We'll need to go into our settings to do this step. So press the cancel button on the pop-up, then find and open your settings app, which looks like a gray cog. Scroll down and find the button labeled general and press it to open your general settings. 
Now scroll down until you find a button labeled Device Management. You should see the words MAS Medical next to it. Press this and you'll be shown a screen with another button labeled MAS Medical Staffing. If you tap that, you'll finally see a screen where you can enable your phone to trust the app. Press the blue text that reads Trust MAS Medical Staffing Corporation. You'll get another pop-up to verify that you really do want to trust the app. Press the red trust button and you'll be able to open the app. So let's go back to the home screen and find the app again. Open it and you should be greeted with a sign in page. At this point, if you skipped the create a password step in favor of activating your account with Google or Facebook, you can do so here. For Google, press the sign in with Google button at the top then press the continue button on the pop-up. From here, you can sign into your Google account normally. If you don't sign in with the correct email address, you'll be given a message saying that the email you used is not yet associated with an MAS account, from which you can go back and try again with the correct email. If you keep getting this message, even while signing in with the correct email, contact MAS to resolve the issue. Now to activate your account with Facebook, Press the sign in with Facebook button and press continue on the pop-up. From here, you can sign into Facebook as you would normally. The first time you sign in with either Google or Facebook, your account will be activated and you can use the app. If you've already activated your account by creating a password, you can enter your email and password and press sign in to log into the app. If you ever forget your password, you can press the forgot password button. On this page, you would enter your email and press Reset Password, which would send an email to a link to a page identical to the Create Password screen we saw earlier. Just set a new password and return here to log in. I remember my password, so I'm just going to type it in here and log in. Now we're in the app. We've activated our account, installed and enabled our phone to trust the app, and signed in successfully. This concludes the material for this video. For instructions on how to use the app, see the accompanying video.